Welcome to my lecture online. So what's the purpose in finding the linear regression, finding that equation that relates the x and the y values of a set of data? So we're taking the very same data set with the x values from 1 to 5, the y values from 1 to 9. We found that best fit line defined by the equation y equals 2.1x minus 0.9. So that equation relates the x values to the y values in our data set. Here it is, here are the five data points on the graph, and there's the best fit line. Now, how confident are we that we can use that to make predictions? And what kind of predictions should we make? Well, for example, let's say that x equals 10, what would be the corresponding value for y? Now, if all we had was this, it would be difficult to make that assessment. But now that we have that equation, that best fit line, all we need to do is plug in 10 for x and evaluate the value for y, so 2.1 times 10 minus 0.9 is 20.1. So now we find the corresponding value for y given a particular value for x. Now the question may be, what is the confidence that we have that this value is nearly correct or very close to being correct? Well, we can find the regression coefficient. And we did that a few videos ago, so here's the equation again, that the regression coefficient can be found using these values. And just for our benefit, I calculated, pre-calculated some of these values already. So let's plug them in and see what we get. So first of all, the sum of all the x's, which is 15, multiplied times the sum of all the y's, which is 27, divided by the number data points, 5, and take the whole thing and divide it by the square root of... First of all, we have the sum of all the x's squared, which is, um, let's see here, that's not this, that's right here, which is 55. 55 minus the sum of all the x's quantity squared, which is 225. And we divide that by 5, and then we multiply it times the sum of all the y squareds, which I need to calculate, which is 191 minus the sum of all the y quantity squared, which is 729, divided by 5, like this. And then we take the square root after we multiply those two quantities in parentheses in the denominator. So let's simplify this a little bit. Okay, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 27 is 81 in the numerator. So we have 81 divided by the square root of... 225 divided by 5, that's 45, subtract from 55 is 10, so here we get 10 times, now let's see here, I need a calculator for that, okay, we have 729 divided by 5, and subtract that from 191, we get 45.2, all right, that's 45. Oh, 45.2, and got to get the 0.2 in there, 0.2, like that. Okay, multiply that times 10, take the square root of that, and divide that into 81. And I get 0.988. So, that means I get an R value of 0.988. Now, you recognize this as being very close to 1, therefore this is a very strong correlation. What means is we can be very confident that the best fit line is a really good representation of the data and that the relationship between the x and y values are very close to that particular equation. And therefore we can be fairly confident that if we have value for x equals 10, that the corresponding value for y is very close to 20.1. Now it may be a little bit different from that, but it'll be close because we have a very strong relationship, we have a very high correlation, and therefore we're fairly confident that we found a good best fit line, and it gives us a very strong relationship between the x and the y values to make the predicted value for any input that we want to put into that particular equation, and that is how it's done.